Today I'm going to be sharing different faux marble techniques. Basically what I did is I took some drink containers, I cut off the tops, obviously they're cleaned out, and then these I have just painted white. So we're going to do a faux marbling technique on this little vase, which is my drink carton that I have uh, painted white already. Um, and I just have like a little container set up here and a little grate. I've never actually done a small scale paint pour. I've always done like a dirty pour on a large piece of furniture. So this time I'm essentially going to be pouring it and I'm going to rotate it as I go and then I'm going to put it upright to dry and then drip down. And I think that'll kind of give me the best look for the marble. So the first thing I'm going to do is I poured a lot of extra of my white and I have them all with the paint pouring medium already mixed in, but I'm going to do a little bit of white on it first so it glides easily. Essentially, I'm just going to gloop on a bunch of white paint and this is really like loose and you should probably have a covered table, but I like to live life on the edge apparently. And this is my dining table, but I have young kids, so they make a lot of messes too. I'll clean it up afterwards. Okay. So this is kind of glooped on and I also suggest wearing gloves. Okay, so I have my white paint kind of glooped everywhere and I'm going to kind of just put a little bit of these colors in here. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, maybe a little bit of that. A little bit of that. some gray and eventually or I should say I'm going to be doing this on each side so it's kind of gonna just kind of making a mess and now I'm going to be putting it upside down so if you want whatever color at the top to drip down you can think of that as well, how you want it to look. And each side is going to be different with my different pouring techniques. And here's the last side. Running out of paint, but that's okay. This one, let's put a bunch of these colors here, maybe a little bit like that. And with paint pouring, obviously you can tell it is messy, but you can kind of get the different techniques. And then I can kind of look at each side, so I'll rotate this around. Hopefully, you can see all what that looks like. And then um, you can kind of pour different colors too if I want more, say white. Just kind of, I guess my white was gloopy at the top there. And I'm going to let that drip dry and it should take a while. And I find too, oh, I dropped it. My, whenever I do a paint pour, it always gets really thick and as it dries too. So just keep that in mind. You're not gonna have a nice smooth surface. I mean, you might if you put a lot more of the pouring medium, but I've always had it really thick. And then we'll let that dry.